David Zritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. What am I doing wearing this jacket and this Henley? Well, clearly I'm talking about something from the Matera Italy scenes from No Time to Die. And we have in our hands a box of goodness. It is the Drake's uh, shoes or chukka boots that Bond wears in the movie. Now, before we open this box, I want to just read you a little bit about that. You know I cheat because I need to. These are the Crosby Mokto chukka boots in a brown suede. Now, one thing I do want to say is when we say brown suede, we mean brown suede. There's different colors. This You want the dark brown. So here's what it says. The cousin to our popular Clifford Desert boot, the Crosby takes a three eyelet silhouette, adds a distinctive mock style stitching that's going to come into play very soon. Uh, these shoes are superior in their construction using premium suede uppers and a hardy, they're saying this, not me, hardy rubber crepe sole. Uh, versatile, fits true to size, made in Italy, unlined, mock stitch toed, crepe sole, leather insoled with embossed Easy Day logo. Okay, that's the stats. I wound up getting an 8.5. Okay, now the reason I say an 8.5 is um, I fit in a size 9 US, 8.5 uh, UK. So that's going to factor in when we talk about fit because some people had to actually size up a half size. So if you fit uh, as, as a 9 UK, you should probably take a 9.5. I didn't do that. I listened on the website and asked for a true to size. We're going to find out how that worked out. Okay, let's open the box. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Whoa, that's really close. Here we go. And. There it is. Okay, we've just opened the box. It's a nice kind of plain box, not a lot of pomp and circumstance. And we've got some brown, simple wrapping, and there's the shoes. So that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted shoes. Um, there's kind of a waxing on here, which probably protects the shoes. And then I'll take one of the shoes out, and here it is. Now um, it's got some paper in there to hold the shape, which is good during travels, but there isn't a lot more to it than that. There isn't all these layers, and that's fine. I mean, we do talk about the wrapping and things like that. This is a, this is a little um, not as uh, crazy, which I'm fine, because again, I wanted these, not a bunch of wrapping. So, interestingly, you see these ties on here, all right, the shoestrings. It actually comes with a second pair, and the second pair is thinner. It's this kind of, uh, you know, thinner cord. You've seen this before. So take a look at the difference between those two. So they throw in a second pair. I don't... Oh, that was cat-like. You saw that. I caught it. I don't know which one Bond wears. I can't tell you. I'm assuming it's the ones that they put on here. So here we go. Now, you can take a look at this right here. I want to point something out right away. These do look like moccasins. Now, what, the reason I say that is, is we've, we've seen a lot of suede boots. We've seen the Playboy boots. We've seen the ones from Spectre. Oh my gosh, we've seen the ones from Quantum of Solace. We have a lot of suede James Bond boots. The ones from Spectre that had a crepe sole, the crepe sole started breaking down very quickly. I just have to be very uh, honest here and say that. This, we're going to actually put to the test. And you'll see in a second. But first, take a look at this. You can see some of the details. Now, um, mea culpa, these uh, are, I think, wonderful. They're my style. I, I wear a very relaxed style to work. I can do that because I work in an agency. So this has kind of a moccasin look, including with the stitching. Look at the stitching on that. That is like a moccasin. This has, obviously, the... Um, Chukka top, which is, again is very, very comfortable. It doesn't, it's not a Chelsea boot, right? You know, we know the differences. I don't have to go over this with you, but it doesn't hug the ankle. It kind of moves with you, which is, is really nice. And there's the crepe sole, all right? There's the crepe sole. And one of the things we've got to talk about as we take a look at some of the back is the suede is very nice on here. It's thick. It looks pretty luxurious. I'm happy with the overall look. To me, this is all about wear. And why do I say that? I haven't been happy with every suede shoe I own. They're not made 
equal. I'm sorry. Uh, I love, love, love the churches ones that I have from Quantum of Solace. Um, some of the other ones, not so much. So these, uh, I really want to put to the test. Guess what? We're going to wear these. So take a look at this video of me actually putting these to the test. Okay, everybody, as promised, I am going to be wearing the Drakes for the first time. I'm heading out with uh, Danielle, with uh, friends of ours, get some sushi, and uh, I'll give you a bird's eye view. Right there over my shoulder is the Drake box, so let's put them on. Okay, I'm just wearing a regular pair of socks, nothing fancy. Laura, they blow. Really nice and dark. Again, they've got that moccasin look to them. More than like a typical chaka. Almost like a, like I've said, an amalgamation. Let's put them on. Okay, so this is a uh, first time wearing them. Uh, they feel comfortable right away. So this is a eight and a half UK size. And my toe, my tip of my toe, hold on, hold on, is hitting like right about here. So it's not up against the, the box or the tip. When I lean forward, it feels good. Um, feels good in the sides. I mean, it feels like a moccasin would fit. So it's snug, but not tight. And there's a big difference between snug and tight. I don't want them to be tight, but they are gonna give a little bit. And obviously when I walk, uh, it's going to give as well. So I'm literally wearing these for the first time while talking to you. Um, feels good. I mean, it feels uh, definitely that sole. You, you feel the, the cushioning of that sole, which feels very, very nice. And, um, you know, too early to tell. I'm going to wear this out to a restaurant. So I'll be in the car. Then I'll be walking in a parking lot. I'll be in a restaurant hanging out. I'm not going to do any serious walking because it is a crepe sole. And I get a little nervous with crepe soles. I don't want to wear them out because when they wear out, you can't replace them. Um, and I've had circumstances with crepe soles before, but so far, so good. This one seems very dense and tight. So I think it's going to feel good. Let's walk around a little bit more. Yeah, this feels good. I'll take them outside on the deck. Come with me. It's really very nice out. You can see the deck is all done up for the fall. So this is definitely gonna date this video. <laughs> um, all right, it feels great. I mean, I'm so let me walk around the deck a little bit. Uh, feels really fantastic. Um, does not feel tight at all. I don't feel any slippage either. I was looking to see if, um, here, here we go. If I would have a little bit of slippage, that is a bizarre view, David, but I don't have any slippage when I walk, which is great. Uh, it actually feels extremely comfortable. And I think if I had gone up a half size more, then it would have possibly been too big. And I don't want that because this is going to give, I mean, my Clarks and my churches and um, Kentons and other ones like that, that are suede, they do give a little bit over time. So these, these eight and a half UK are actually fitting the bill right now, but We'll talk about it at the end of the night. We'll see if uh, I'm still as comfortable. And I, I do, I get what people are saying. They're saying that it's it's like putting on slippers and moccasins as opposed to uh, chakas and desert boots. And so far they're right. It's got a certain comfy cushion to them, but let's go check it out. Okay, good morning. Uh, so uh, it's time to go to work. I'm in my uh, garage right now. You can see, obviously, a garage. No big deal. And uh, we're going to be heading to work. So last night, as I mentioned, uh, went out with our friends and it was a great evening and I got to wear these. Dun, dun, dun. And very comfortable. I kept, I'll, I'll be honest, I kept looking down at them thinking like, okay, um, you know, are they moccasins? Are they, you know, what exactly are they? And, you know, I've got to say that they are kind of a moccasin chukka, if that makes sense. So um, it's one of these things that I'm gonna test out during the day. And it's not that that's a negative. From a moccasin standpoint, I like that it's a little bit wider. I like the form and function of a moccasin because it's uber comfortable. It's Friday, clearly it's Friday because I'm just incredibly casual. Um, you know, I've got jeans on, etc. that you could see the 
shoes, but I'm gonna wear these all day. I'll be going in and out of meetings. I'll be running around. I'm going out to a client lunch. Uh, yes, in the agency world, you can wear this type of stuff in front of a client. Yay. So I'm gonna be obviously commuting to work right now. We're gonna head off and uh, we'll give you a more full review by the end of the day about the fit and the comfort of these because it's part of it. It can't just be about what it looks like. So stay tuned. Okay, so after my commute, I've arrived to work and um, obviously I was driving a stick. The soles are great. Um, I, and the reason I'm showing you this is I've worn these crepe soles before and for some reason with a uh, stick, it, um, it, it shows wear and tear a lot. The good news is this isn't, um, which gives me hope that these are going to be a little bit more, uh, oh, let's call it hardy. <laughs> That'll be able to actually drive in these and not, not baby them. And actually the ones in the movie, they deserve a little roughing up anyway. All right, we're back. And so just so everybody knows, these shoes I wore for three days straight. I wore them in the grass, on the gravel, driving a stick shift, going to work, going to play, eating at restaurants, dropping things, kicking, people stepping on my toes, etc. And I think they've held up well. Here's my most important gauge. You see the backs? And you see these, the crepe soles are not disappearing. And you're like, David, you only wore them for three days. Trust me, folks, I've had these types of shoes that disappear after one wear driving a stick shift. These are in really good shape. And I wanted to point that out because that's not nothing. I mean, these are an investment. Uh, just to give you everybody an idea, this is going to be $395, that's the price. Um, I love the Bond connection on this, but here's another very honest moment. I could so see wearing this with this outfit. This makes total sense to me. I don't know if I would have paired it with his um, other outfit that he wears, the light suit. Um, and again, we're gonna talk about that light suit in a different video, but I don't know if I would have paired this with that, but a part of me likes the fact that Bon isn't packing 900 shoes. He's packing 900 sunglasses, we know that already, but not 900 shoes. So I do like the fact that uh, he goes for these same pairs with multiple outfits. All right, so I was gifted these shoes. And the reason I point that out is uh, we've had chats about these things before. You know, it, it, does it bias my review, et cetera? Does it not bias my review? Well, let me tell you something. Three days wearing this, although this hasn't worn down, these were not entirely comfortable off the bat. It wasn't that they were too small. I talked about size in the beginning. It seemed like the footbed needed a little bit breaking in, which was surprising because I heard from other people that these feel like slippers right off the bat. It was not until my third day, and I've worn them even after that third day, that I started to really feel it breaking in. So there is going to be a little bit of a break-in period with these. Uh, are they the look for everybody? Maybe not because of the moccasin view. Are they the look for me? Yeah, I mean, I really like them. And again, I've told people about this before. I do not wear anything that I wouldn't like even if Bond wasn't wearing it. So I'm not gonna force fit myself to wear something if just because it's a Bond thing. But because it is a Bond thing, and because it's the right brand and the right boot, I really, really like it. So thank you to the people at Drake's for sending this, uh, for this review. I just wanted to give you my point of view. I wanted to give you a lot of the specifics and close-ups because guess what? You probably can't try these on everywhere. There are stores. I know if you're in the United States, there's one in New York City, but we will put the link down below to where you can contact them or order your own. And we're gonna bring you more branded moments and more fun from no time to die but for now this has been david zaritsky for the bond experience and we will see you all very soon take care thanks for watching this episode if you want to be up on the latest from the bond experience just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel you're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content and by the way speaking of content here's something especially for you just because we know you talk to you soon